Hi, this is Tanya Vos again with a new video on Testar and this time we're going to talk about how Testar changes testing at the graphical user interface level. So we've seen in previous video that automated testing with Testar is different. We don't have any scripts, so it's scriptless. We can immediately start testing without any requirements and then we start from out of the box with random testing and implicit oracles. So random testing means that out of the box we will be doing robustness testing. Robustness monkey testing where we select every action at random to be executed in the next state. Implicit oracles means that we can find any failure that is related to let's call them implicit requirements of any software, test, software application which is like the software application should not crash it should not hang and it should not have pop up information with suspicious titles like error, no pointer exception and problem, etc. So, we saw in previous videos that applying it in some companies, we actually in some cases beat their manual testing process. We had in some cases higher functional test coverage and we found critical errors that their manual testing processes were not able to find. So that's actually quite impressive. So now we want to see how can we set it up to test your own system under test and go a bit beyond random action selection and implicit oracles. So if we remember the test star loop, there's actually three positions where you can customize and improve the tool towards working it with your own system under test. And this is where you check the state, which is basically the oracle. So here you can add your customized oracles of other things that you want to check in the state for failures in your system. You can change the derivation of actions. So maybe there's only a specific subset of actions that you want to consider, or maybe you want to consider other actions that are not being detected by the tool because they're customized. You can add them here in the derive actions part. And also what you can do, you can change how action selection is being done. So we depart from random, but you can pick any action selection criteria that fits your needs. So imagine we have a system under test. We can basically divide the process to set up Testar to test your system in three steps. We start, we start in the immediately with your test phase. So this means we set up the test environment, recognizing all the user interfaces elements. We do this through the accessibility API of the operating system, if you remember from previous videos. And then we can already start testing out of the box with random selection and these implicit oracles for crashes, hangs and suspicious titles. So this is the first phase, when we set it all up and make sure that everything is detected and we also filter out these actions that we don't want to, to execute, like um, minimizing the application or closing the application. So after this, what we can do is build incremental testwares. So we already indicated that there's a couple of positions in the test star loop that we can add other functionality, which is for example with the oracle definitions. So we can think uh, and anticipate about potential failure patterns that we want to detect for our system under test. And once we know what they are, we can define them as an oracle and implement them in the checking phase for each state of the graphical user interface. On the other hand, if we identify possible needed strategies for action derivation and selection, we can implement them in the action derivation and action selection strategy. And we can do this incrementally. So we start with random and incrementally we can add new stuff that is more customized to the specific domain of our system under test. And then the third phase is just run the test to find failures. So how actually does this change testing? So the normal testing uh, procedures as we normally use them is that we start with some requirements and from these requirements we generate a test suite. And then this test suite we automate with some scripts and then we have automated the tests that test these requirements. So with test star and the way we presented it till now, we actually do this the other way around. So we start with automation, out of the box, random selection and implicit oracles and we have um, some automated testing. 
then what we can do is bit by bit add some requirements incrementally while adding some oracles, some other action selection or some other action derivation. And this way it's the other way around. So we start with automation and little by little we incrementally add more tests for our requirements. So if we look at how test effort is distributed, this might be a typical scenario when we use scripts. So we need to specify test cases, we need to specify oracles, we need to capture or develop these test scripts, and these test scripts need to be maintained. And as we have seen, maintenance is quite expensive, so this takes a lot of time, and then we have this left for test execution. So what we think is how Teststar is going to change this whole test effort distribution is in this way. So specifying test cases we still need to do because or we do it manually and indicate what the test sequences are or in test star we define specific action derivation and action selection strategies so this more or less will take the same amount of time. Oracle specification is also something that we always need to do because we cannot uh, beyond implicit oracles know what our system is doing wrong or right. We have to specify that for the specific domain of the system under test. Here we don't have any uh, scripts because we in TestR there is no script so we save time here and moreover we save time in the maintenance. Since there's no scripts that can break we save time in maintaining them. And this means that we have a lot more time for test automation. So this is the way that we see that TestR will change. So if you are interested in learning on how you can do all these things and add your own action selection algorithm and tweak the action derivation and program your own oracles, then please stay tuned and watch our next videos of TestR in the Testamat project.